answer. How did they get that done? So they grabbed the lead just before half with a clock reading 0-0-0. Zero, zero, zero. How about snatching things right at the end and grabbing a little bit of control? What a great way to go into the locker room. It's similar to a boxer flurrying in the last 30 seconds of a round and stealing the round. Great job. Dustin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. It's good, and the Redskins take a 7-0 lead. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you now to Orlando to check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, LR. Thanks, Brandon, and welcome to the EA Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's take a look back at the first half. The Redskins right now are doing a good job protecting their house. The Bears haven't played horribly, but will need to improve if they want to win this one. So let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Early in the first, Kerrigan's got to get the quarterback here. This one ends up as a loss of 11. Third down from inside the 20. Cousins throw under pressure leads to the turnover. Porter is the one who makes the pick to give a boost to his defense. Rents ends with the ball late in the half. Kelly's got great blocking here, and this run goes for a touchdown, giving them an early lead. Okay, Larry, back here, 7-0 our score as we ready ourselves for this second half. Now it's Chris Thompson on the return. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies, try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. Let's look ahead for a quick minute. We don't have the schedules yet for next year, but what we do have are the five international games that will be played, four in London and then one again in Mexico, Jacksonville, Baltimore, Miami, New Orleans, Cleveland, Minnesota, Rams and Arizona, those in London, and then Mexico's gonna get a great game. The Raiders and New England. Yeah, you're exactly right. And just think about the ones in London. Remember, they're splitting them between the two different stadiums in London. So they get a different flavor in all of these places. But Mexico, for the second straight year, the Raiders are coming to town. That should be a whole lot of fun. Should be a ton of fun and a very good matchup. And fits the exact right word. Over the middle, there's almost always traffic. So anytime you're a receiver in that area, you're not just focused on catching the football. You're wondering where the collision's going to come from, right? Because there's almost always someone there able to concentrate, catch it, and even add it a little extra at the end with a short run. They'll keep it in the hands of Kelly. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. Throwing his cousins, eluding the pressure right. Well, this is caught by Jackson. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. I don't know if I agree with that. I guess they don't care if I agree with that. <laughs> but, boy, you have to be surprised by that, right? I, I definitely was surprised that they decided to go for it in this situation. But they must have either felt like they either had a great play call on or they're trying to show extreme confidence. Forced out to his left. Now the hit comes, and Cousins lost the football. And I think the Bears have recovered. They have. When I see a play like that, I come back to risk-reward. I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up, to either take the hit 
And in this case, lose the football. Well, it should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the safe play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it, but I think ultimately you've got to look at it as a first option, taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. Well, so much for him being bottled up throughout the day. Finally finds a way to break through and get a really nice game. The defense have felt great about what they had going. Now they've got to turn their attention to getting it back in that direction. Can they bottle him up again? Because I'd say after that run, confidence is pretty high for him. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first-level run, and it was stopped by a second-level player. Now Cutler to throw on second down. Throwing right, and that's complete. That catch good for five. It's third down. He had time, was able to survey the field and find a soft spot in that zone coverage. And that's where it gets difficult for a defender, Brandon. You go to your spots on the field that you have to cover, and when the offense finds an area that you're not in, that's where they throw the football. Now it's Cutler. The catch made by Miller. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. On first down, they run with Howard. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. On second down, Cutler. On the right side, this is Miller. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. So there you go, holding by the offense, and that'll push him back. Changes everything now as you try and figure out what your playbook has for you. Longer yardage situations, tougher to execute and pick up first downs. Again, it's Howard. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Give him four on the carry there, but that only takes him back to where they started. Third and ten. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually... He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by the all-pro corner, Josh Norman. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Josh Norman with a pick, he can be such a tone setter for a defense. His confidence has grown from his first snaps in the NFL. Found his place, found his way, and now everyone just wants to avoid throwing the football in his direction. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. 